don't worry, I'm just uh, hiding in the toilet. I'm not actually doing a poo, I promise. Um, just having a think about uh, collaboration, I suppose, and uh, and the working in the theatre. And I just washed up my cup and my plate from lunch, and uh, I saw that the kettle was nearly empty. And I thought, well, I'll fill up the kettle. I'm not sure if I want a cup of tea, but you know, it's lunch time, so other people will want a cup of tea. So I filled up the kettle, and that's. And I suppose that's what working with other people is like, isn't it? You know, you hopefully you think there's a load of people and we're all going to want a cup of tea at some point and I'll fill up the kettle. I remember I worked in an event, it was about a year and a half ago, and my friend who I work for, she's uh, very environmentally conscious and uh, she saw me filling up the kettle. She said, I hope you're not filling up that kettle all the way to the top just to make a cup of tea for yourself. And I said, actually, what I'm doing is I'm filling up the kettle at the beginning of a very busy day in a very busy building where lots of people are going to want a cup of tea. Um, but I take a point, you know, at home when it's just you. You fill up the kettle differently. What's the point? What, what's your point? I mean, what's the point of any of these videos, quite frankly? Um, I think I thought doing this contract that I would be able to come in and do my bit and nothing else. And well, one, two, three, four, five days in, six days in, what I'm realising is that uh, with most theatre, that isn't that isn't the case. And and I don't know if it's a terribly fun way of of working or living. Anyway, when you do that, um, it's a collaboration, isn't it? Working towards making something, getting it on, uh, and the opening night happening. And if you just turn up and do your bit, uh, how, can, uh, how can you create something? How can you share ideas? Um, I suppose I was worried because I've written pantomimes, directed pantomimes, produced pantomimes before, and sometimes I've written, produced, directed, and been in the same productions. And I don't, and part of me was looking forward to just doing one job, doing my job and nothing else. And another part of me was worried that I would be, you know, take over and uh, be like uh, <laughs> an egomaniac about it all and, uh, and take over. And so I suppose what I'm, what I'm pondering today is that balance between being a job's work and being uh, an, uh, an egomaniac and, uh, and doing everyone's job for them. And I was messaging with my friend who's also in Panto somewhere else about it yesterday, and she's very like me. And, uh, and yeah, it's like a plinth, it's like a balancing act. You just keep going, oh, do you want to, is a suggestion from me right now helpful? Or is that overstepping the mark? Or I can see that there's a problem coming up ahead, like an iceberg. And uh, shall I point that out to save us all time, or shall I just, as, as she put it, thank you, Sarah, for this. And as she, um, you know, shall I just let let us crash into the iceberg and let the director, you know, find out what's going on? And if, if you don't know anybody, I mean, I know my ugly sister, Gavin, but I don't know anybody else here. And I'm used to working with the same people all the time, like, ironically, like Victoria Wood did. Um, on the pantomimes I used to produce on the Battersea Barge for 15 years, I had the same casts and many of the same crew. And there was a shorthand there um, that meant you could crack on, that meant that you could, that you understood each other. And uh, I suppose the... Uh, tiptoeing about and, and, and understanding was it what, what are they going to be like or are they going to be trouble or are they going to be fun or can I say that or is that too cheeky um, m mostly that that's d dealt with you don't worry about that when you've got um, people that you know but also uh, it's easy to become cliquey and never find something new or fun or never invite new or fun people in um so yeah, there's no answer, is there? It's just, it's the plinth, it's the balancing act. It's like, mm, do I, should I? And yeah, I've been finding it all very interesting.
and my eyes hurt. My eyes hurt a lot. I can't, uh, can't work out what it is. I'm getting really light sensitive. Um, I'm spending quite a lot of time like, uh, please tell me if it's anybody listening that has any advice about, um, it's not even tired eyes. I mean, my eyes were tired within 20 minutes of me getting out of bed this morning. I just want to almost half shut them the whole time or or as, as often as I possibly can. I spent te te definitely until noon today, I wanted to sort of just walk around with them half shut and whenever I got a chance to just close them for, even if it was just 20 seconds or a minute. And uh, I don't know what's going on there because I've just had 10 hours sleep. So please tell me what's happening and uh, if I should immediately see a medical professional. Anyway, it's day 21 and uh, I'll see you tomorrow if we're saved.